So let's do an example with exponent rules so you can see how they work, or the product rule uh, specifically. So I've got an example here, 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 4th. Well, my product rule says same base, right? They're both 5s. They're being multiplied together. So according to this rule, this is the same thing as if I took 5 and raised it to the power of the exponents added together. Well, my exponents are 3 and 4, so 3 plus 4 is 7. So 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 4th is the same as 5 to the 7th. So another example you might have um, if without numbers. So if I give you y squared times y to the 10th, again, even though they're variables, these vari this y stands for the same number. When we put a number in here, we'd put it in for this y, and for this y it would be the same number um, in here for y. So, if we were to evaluate this. So, I've got the same number. I've got them multiplied together. So, that means according to my product rule, this is the same thing as the y, the same base, raised to the what power? Well, the 2 plus the 10, which gives me y to the 2 plus 10 is 12. So, y to the second times y to the 10th is the same thing as y to the 12th. And of course, you could get the same answer if you wrote out all of these y's and counted them up. We're just kind of taking a shortcut here by adding these two exponents. So that's how you use the product rule.